Deep Research is an AI tool that curates information from the internet on your behalf to create a comprehensive report. So you can ask any question and Deep Research will write up a custom report for you. More and more companies are offering Deep Research as a feature. Companies like Moonshot, Manus, Perplexity, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini all have engineered their own version of Deep Research. Now, some tools are really good at gathering information, while others are good at citing information that it gathered, and some are really good at the narrative portion of the report, and also just how fast the entire process takes. I ran the same research topic and here's a prompt that I sent to all six of them. By far, the fastest deep research tool was Gemini that came in at 3 minutes and 46 seconds to generate the report, which is only a few seconds faster than Perplexity. OpenAI was at 8 minutes, Anthropic 12 minutes, Manus 19 minutes, and Moonshots came in at 35 minutes. But faster does not necessarily mean it's better. For instance, this is the length of the report that each tool is produced. Kimi wrote a report that is 21 pages long, while Manus produced the highest, which is 67 pages of report, OpenAI at 16 pages, Gemini at 15 pages, Anthropic at 15, and Perplexity at 9 pages. And given the length of each report, this is how long it would take for you to read from top to bottom. So if you're looking at what research tool to use only by how long it takes, Gemini and Perplexity will give you the fastest report. So now let's add the prep time and the read time together and see how the total amount of time it takes to generate and read the report from beginning till the end. Kimi will take you just above an hour, Manus will take you an hour and a half, OpenAI around 45 minutes, Gemini under 25 minutes, Anthropic under 20 minutes, and Perplexity just around 10 minutes. But maybe you're time agnostic, meaning you value the quality of the report more than the time it takes to generate it and read it. Maybe you're okay with the fact that you have to wait a half an hour for a detailed report as long as the report was comprehensive in its coverage. So let's take a look at the number of sources that each tool used to gather the information from the internet. Kimi looked through the most, which is 442 sites. Manus browsed through 230 sites. OpenAI searched through 180. 8, Gemini 88 sites, Anthropic at 51, and Perplexity at 73 sites. So although Kimi took about 35 minutes to generate the report from beginning till the end, it did browse through 442 different sites to gather its information. However, gathering more sources doesn't necessarily mean they had the better information. And we can measure this partly in citations, meaning when the report is generated, does it first use the sources to ground the truth? And two, does it actually cite the sources in the report when it makes a claim? Sourcing is how wide the search is and citation is how efficient and effective they use these sources. For example, Kimi searched through 442 sites but only used 49 citations in the report compared to OpenAI that sourced 108 sites and had 91 citations. So OpenAI is more eager to cite its claims from its sources whereas Kimi makes a lot of paragraphs without citations. However, the drawback is that OpenAI only used 12 unique sites to cite from. So OpenAI is very good at citing its work but not as good as tools like Kimi or Manus in gathering different sites to source from. Interestingly, Anthropic had no citation, although it did look through 51 different sites. So the entire output that Anthropic was inspired by the sources, but not cited in the report. Now let's take a look at what type of sources these tools use. Manus by far has the most diverse set of sources. Even though Kimi looked through 442 sites to gather its sources compared to 230 by Manus, the diversity of sources puts Manus unmatched compared to any other tool. Manus gathered from academic papers, news sources, social media from X, YouTube, and even financial and SEC reports when you could find one. Whereas most other tools only grab information from news articles. One interesting note about Kimi though is that it did read through foreign articles that's written in a completely different language. I thought this was very interesting since the facts aren't saturated by certain viewpoints here in the Western society. And honestly, I think an underlooked feature is using social media to gather market trends or market sentiment. As as much as grounding truth from academic papers and news articles can lead to a more truthful report, I want the report to have diverse view that typically exists in social media that have different perspectives from different people. Okay, now what about style? How does the report actually read? Here's what I think each tool brings in its reading style. Kimi reads like a storytelling narrative. Manus reads like an academic paper. OpenAI reads like an analyst report. Gemini reads like a research paper. Anthropic reads like a briefing. And Perplexity reads like a factual 
Bible document. Kimmy's writing style was very digestible and very easy to read from top to bottom, and each section had a good chunking size. Manus, on the other hand, is by far the most thorough research in how it's written, as well as diversity of sources, and also had the longest report. OpenAI used the smallest sources to gather from the internet, but was very eager to source its materials, which is why I labeled it as an analyst covering a certain topic. Gemini is honestly the most well-balanced of all with its depth and breadth also given how fast it actually generated the report. Anthropic sends out as a quick high-level overview in bullet points of what the facts are given the topic. And finally, Perplexity is really good at only stating facts rather than focusing on the narrative and it stitches together facts really, really well. So depending on what type of coverage and what type of reading you'd like to have given a specific topic, you can draw from each of these tools and their strengths provided by Kimi, Manus, OpenAI, Gemini, Anthropic, and Perplexity.